This one is going to be on passwords. Um, you know when you have to go to a website or a forum or whatever, and you need to sign up, right? And then you have to think of a password, and then you have to remember the password, and then you have to know if the password is, uh, you know, safe enough. So, you know, people can't guess it with a brute force attack, uh, dictionary, you know, attack. So, <coughs> with this um, JavaScript, you don't actually need to remember all the passwords, just you have to remember one password, and that's your master password, alright? And uh, everything else is um, will be encrypted based on on the site that you're at, right? So I'm gonna show you uh, what it is. Let's say um, well this is the website you go to, um, supergenpass.com, right? <coughs> and basically what this does is uh, it creates a JavaScript for you. So it has these three options. You can change it, but for this um, I'm just gonna do the default. And it says build bookmark, right? And then what you want to do is, um, you know, save this to the bookmark. Uh, I'm just going to drag this up to my... See, and now I have it here, right? <coughs> if you click on it, um, it'll say something like this on the side. Right? And all you got to do is um, enter your master password. You know? Like, let's say... Um, for this instance, um, we go to make a a Google email account, a Gmail account. So it's gonna use um, Google.com, right, and your master password. So for this instance, um, just click on SuperGen Pass, the JavaScript that we um, build, and then you see over here in the side, see in the side here, it asks you for your master password. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna call it a uh, master uh, master shit, right? <coughs> and it generates it. See, this is your um, encrypted password, right? So you don't you don't have to ha actually remember this password. All you gotta do is uh, remember your master password. This is your master password, right? Master shit, and um. This encrypted password is based on um, your master password here and the website you're at, which is google.com. And then the password length is 10, that's default, right? So that's how they come up with this. They fuse um, the master password with the domain. So you don't actually have to remember um, your password, your encrypted password. See, no one's gonna remember this. Come on, look at this. Can you remember that shit? Oh. So, <coughs> see, uh, with this script, you can like um, you know, um, access from anywhere. Like let's say you're out of town or something, you don't you know, remember um, what you um, you know your password is, but you, you remember this site. All you do is go there, and then that's that's it. The Super Gen password site. Or if you're on a, an iPhone or something, um, they have a mobile version right here. And basically, what you do is the same thing. You type in your master password in the site you're at, and then the characters, um, how long um, the length of your password is, and then they show you a generated password. It's the same thing. <coughs> um, so we know that the password is like uh, encrypted, but how strong is it, right? So I'm gonna check it to see. Um, um, how strong is the password? So this is a Microsoft something like this shit, and this is password checker. So I'm just gonna use it. Copy the password already. So I'm gonna paste it in, right? See how strong it is. See, and it's just strong. So that's one site, and I'm gonna check it with um, password meter, right? And I'm gonna check it and see if it's uh, strong also paste it in and we get a 84% so that's very strong right and one more check um, just to be sure password security um, okay paste it in and then submit and see how it says so okay it gives a green bar and it says strong password okay so 3 out of 3 alright so it's good <coughs> 
So that's all you gotta do is um remember um your master password. Alright. And go to a domain, even you go to YouTube or whatever. And that's it. You need a JavaScript or you do you need the mobile version. And that's why this this um JavaScript is convenient. And uh it doesn't transmit any information because it's uh is locally you don't actually connect to super gen path is a java script so you know it's on your hard drive or whatever and all you gotta do is go and click on this whenever you need to make a password right or um on the site that you're using and that's it it's convenient and it's much harder to uh hack the password cause you know most of us are lazy we don't want to use um, encrypted password. We use the same shit. You know, everyone does it. It's stupid, but it's convenient. You know, but now you don't have um, you don't have to be stupid anymore. You just use this thing, and um, it's convenient and it's encrypted. So it's the best of both worlds. You know? So check it out if you need something like this.